everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna dive into one of the most exciting development in the artificial intelligence right now artificial, artificial intelligence. intelligence artificial intelligence and artificial, artificial intelligence, intelligence. AI. 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 so what is the genetic AI I'll, I'll try to explain for the people like you know without going too much into technicality uh, so the agentic AI is the, you can think of it as like an evolution of the AI system, which not only like, you know, process the information, but also like take actions, like, you know, it can make a decision and autonomously it just keeps on learning itself and gets better and better. So uh, instead of like, you know, just answering your question, like, we had seen like, you know, in the earlier part of the generative AI, where you ask a question, you get the answer it also makes like you know an action it takes an action and and you can think of it as a digital workers uh, like you know digital worker now lately we have seen uh, like you know stock analyst as an agent so a lot of companies a lot of innovative ai companies have recently been coming up with the uh, agentic workflows where you replace the actual human being with the agent so for example you are working as an hr now you have an HR agent, which does all the tasks, like, you know, the background screening process, like, you know, filing the information when someone gets hired and stuff like that. So you have an agent for that. Now you are a banker and now everything can be also like, you know, you place you with an agent. So a lot of these things are like, you know, which is evolving. And, and that's why there is also in one of our previous video, we had talked about how can AI take our jobs and this is how it is right you replace yourself with an agent you remember agent will work 24 plus 7 they don't take lunch break they don't sleep on the weekends they don't like you know get sick they just work and work and work uh, and the more they work the more they learn the better it is so that's that's the uh, agentic ai in the whole so in this video I'll walk you through some of the steps, like, you know, some dive deep onto the steps of these agents and, and some real world applications. And then finally, we'll cover some risk. We are being cybersecurity conscious on this channel. How agentic AI works. So the system typically follows four steps. First is perceive, where it gathers the information, maybe through API, maybe through external like you know, links, websites, documents, whatever you use to train your model. Second is reason. This is where like, you know, it uses the large language model to think through, to make a decision. It usually uses the RAG, which is called Retrieval Augmented Generation. Now, uh, what is RAG? RAG is essentially to expand the capability of the agentic AI. So what it essentially does is like it allows them to grab the information from the external sources too. Instead of like, you know, limiting themselves to the what LLM knows by teaching and you are training the model, it also goes out and, and take the new information. Then third step is act. So it actually takes the actions like sending the emails, calling the APIs, making like, you know, filing out the documents or whatever. And then finally, a lesson like you know so here this is where it closes the loop so it keeps on learning based on the information that it has like the activities it has performed and the maybe a little bit of human feedback that's given to you sometimes like you have seen in the system after something is completed it gives you the option to like thumbs up and thumbs down so depending on like you know well, you give the comments or thumbs up based on that it learns the information and takes kind of next steps so a lot of the systems are built using multiple agents so when i say like you know uh, there is an agent for hr or SOC analyst or security engineers or developer it's not a single agent it's kind of combination of multiple agents so just to give you a workflow for example let's say you have to replace a security engineer with an agent so what a security engineer typically do you have a scanner which scans your system and then security engineer goes in and, and reviews the findings now the uh, it, it triad the findings like okay which of these findings are really relevant for me and my organization to fix it then they create a task list for the developer to go ahead and fix it 
then they help the developers uh, uh, to fix the issues like you know, if they need any recommendation if they need any help and etc and then and finally when the developer fixes the issue then they check it again to make sure these issues are essentially fixed properly now imagine you build like you know four five six different agents to do the same thing so just to take the vulnerability from the external scanner you you have an agent which job is just to get the as and when the new data comes up it pulls the data and brings into the system the second agent does all the triaging like it, it assesses the risk it validates whether this is a true positive or false positive and then make a decision for the next agent now the next agent task is to create a task in the developer uh, bucket and then the next agent would help the developers if they have any questions and the final agent like you know would retest if the developer says this is fixed so just imagine this system which is completely autonomous we could not imagine this a couple of years ago but now it is entirely possible to replace a security engineer and uh, the more as i said like the more agents will be used they will get better and become more efficient now let's talk about uh, the use cases so what's where's the agentic ai used for i gave you a couple of examples already one real world uh, example or application i would say is the walmart has developed a suite of ai agents called sparky so that handles everything from uh, personalized shopping recommendation or optimizing supply chain operations in financing world uh, we have seen like you know agentic ai uh, have been doubled for past one year so banks are using them to automate the document processing uh, customer support and even fraud detection like you know all the credit cards fraud detection like charges going back and forth you don't have a human looking into it now ai agents is detecting if there are any fraudulent activities and take the next steps accordingly and then finally enterprise world like i said you can use it for hr you can use it for marketing you can use for like you know general reports update the dashboard etc 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 the possibilities are endless now what's like in in past one month or so uh, probably you have seen a couple of news around uh, to move uh, use of the agentic ai push it like you know even even further and and make it like you know more accessible so aw has recently uh, announced like agent core which is kind of a of course they have a lot of managed services so this is one of the managed services which allows uh, an organization to run the agent ai at scale so of course with aws you get like you know standard security which is like you know has all the compliance in place and everything but then also you get like you know isolation tool chaining etc all the features another thing uh, to know about the ai hx is like this word is pretty popular called model context protocol and it's becoming go to framework for connecting and managing the ai agents big players like microsoft open ai uh, sourcegraph are all adopting it of course like you know there is a research about the new risk like prompt injection which is not new kind of old but yeah this this uh, risk is still around with the usage of mcp now what are the challenges for the future just remember ai landscape has been changing very very rapidly like with the blink of an eye you will have new innovation comes through and that would maybe outdate the agentic ai as well which we're not discussing probably a year ago right so multi agent system is powerful of course but you would see a lot of innovative organizations are coming towards like you know how to secure these agents because a lot of these companies are are creating their own models and this is still a new space there is no set framework how to secure this so there's always be like you know challenges for the security and governance experts saying like you know we need trust risk and security management framework uh, especially for industries where we have the data very sensitive imagine like you know healthcare which is being on top of the list you you have the robots operating on the on the human being but uh, imagine like an agent who is doing all the paperwork for the for the patients and make a mistake and make all the data public right or or imagine like a financial industry as well now another risk is we or anyone like you know who is using the system on a day to day basis would encounter some 
uh, bad actors who are using the agents to run a lot of like you know bad campaigns uh, that's like maybe some social engineering maybe uh, spreading the malware across the system so these are the like you know some of the uh, risk that could happen there's also a thing called quantum agents which we had if you remember we discussed about ai and the quantum computing previously so these are these are quantum agents so it's still kind of prototyping or or theoretical but uh, as i said like the landscape is changing very rapidly so maybe sooner or later we might get in a situation where it can solve our tls 1.3 uh, like you know break the encryption or hashing in a flash so it's uh, it's 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 definitely possible so now just to wrap it up agentic ai is not just a trend it's a major major leap forward in how we we are going to use ai to get to work replace human being uh, make it more effective get the work done faster so from from uh, like you know any workflow you can imagine the business can become an agentic and if you if your organization is is using like you know agents or building agents or maybe adopting from the third party and you're not sure whether it's secure or not and you need any consultation or any assistance please visit our website called securify.co ai.co that will like you know we will help you uh, we have experts in house which which we have worked with like you know llms models agents day in and out we can definitely help you to secure your models secure your agents and more especially secure data uh, from your customers uh, of your customers and users and employees so thank you that's it for this video if you have any comments anything you want to learn further please drop it down in the comment section below uh, if you like this video please hit like and subscribe for the new uh, new topics